Hi my loves and welcome to day 19. Now we have the next 30 minutes together today. So wherever you are and whatever time of the day it is, welcome. Take a moment to make sure your space is clear and that you are fully set up for this journey that we're about to go on. So if there's any last minute things that you can do to situate yourself and then when you're ready, just come to meet me in a seated position. Okay, so right away we will find a little bit of engagement through the belly as you lift your shoulders up and then draw them back and down. So you can get really broad across your chest, broad across your collarbones. And then close down your eyes, relax your arms by your sides or you can place your hands on your lap. And just take a moment here, wherever you are, whatever you was doing prior to this, just notice how you're stepping into this space. Notice how you're doing today. Any present sensations, or feelings, or thoughts. And then just committing yourself to be with yourself for the next 30 minutes. So whatever is going on, whatever is coming up, just practicing presence with yourself. Now take a full breath in through your nose and then a full breath out from your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's take one final round and make this one even more vocal. Breathe in. Sigh it out. Alrighty, let's have you open your eyes. Sweep your arms all the way up with your next breath in. So reach up. As you breathe out, we're going to reach the right fingertips to the side. Now find a deep stretch here through the left side of your body. So reach the arm up and then over towards the right. Now you might feel good with the right hand rooted or you might have the flexibility to lower your forearm down to the ground. Keep your left hip anchored and then breathe into the side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's have you lift all the way back up. Pull your navel in. Lift up your spine. Then as you exhale, left hand comes down. Down to the ground. Use the ground to lift yourself up to the sky. So breathe the right fingertips up. As you breathe out, reach over to the left. Mm, hello, side body. Okay, some of you might want to drop that elbow down if you did so on the other side. Breathe in and reach. Breathe out and deepen. So nice. Let's have you lift your arms all the way back up now. Inhale. As you exhale, reach your arms all the way forward and down. Shuffle yourself forward. Let's meet in a tabletop position. Stacking your joints well. Then we'll go for cow pose on the next inhale. I know you know this well, so please enjoy it. Exhale as you round to your cat. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out and round. Okay, reset your back. Curl your toes under. Bend into your knees as you push your hips up and back. And we arrive in down dog. Now I want everyone to take their dog on a little bit of a walk here. So cycle out your feet, sway your hips from side to side as we begin to mobilize the back body. Now keep your front body engaged. So see if you could draw your ribs in and up. Suction your navel towards the spine, bend into your knees so you can feel your quadriceps turn on. And then don't forget about your biceps. Keep pushing the hands down and then pull the triceps away from one another. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Beautiful. Let's have you look forward and then walk your feet forward to Malasana pose here. So you're going to bring your toes as wide as your wrists. Tootsies out, heels in, lower into your hip girdle, lift up your chest. So let's start to work into the pelvis. Use your forearms to the inside of your thighs to push them away from one another. Keep your spine upright, so make sure you're not collapsing and rounding. Stay lifted, hold and breathe. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's get the hands, the wrists more involved. So let's have everyone stretch the right hand all the way forward and spread the fingers. So you're going to drive through the wrist. Now take your left hand and grab hold of the right fingertips. Push the right wrist forward and pull the fingertips back. And then by consequence, you should feel this stretch through that right forearm. So working into the wrist. And those hips, I know you're probably feeling this, just stay with the breath, inhale, exhale. All right, let's swap sides, drive through your left wrist, pull the left fingertips back. Stretch out the hands, the fingers, since we're gonna be using them a lot today, make sure they're fully prepared for this journey. All right, now reach both hands forward, spread the hands again, and you're just gonna to begin to contract and open the hands. So you can take this slow to start. I'll be here for a few breaths. And then perhaps make this a little bit quicker. Keep your chest lifted. Focus on the hands. Keep going. Last three. Faster two. On one. Release the hands. Give them a shake out. Drop them. Send the bum up high. Reset your toes and just fold your chest over your legs. Whew. Hello, hips. <laughs> now, once you're in your forward fold, take any movements that feel right right now. So perhaps a little sway of your upper body. Hmm, perhaps a little swirl of the head. Perhaps a little flutter of your lips. Breathe in. Add in a blubber and breathe out. It always feels so good. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, everyone. Tuck your chin in. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Eventually, your head's going to lift. Place your hands to your body and just take a moment to feel. Feel that activated heart rate already as a reminder that you are here, that you are alive, which is the greatest gift of them all, to simply just be breathing in our bodies. And what a gift it is to have these bodies, to be able to move them too. So let's take a breath together with that sense of joy. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, Surya Namaskar A to get the body open. Sweep your arms all the way up. Take a full breath in. Ignite your own flame. As you exhale, fold yourself in half. Hinge from your hips and dive yourself forward. From your forward fold, halfway lift is the next breath in. How much can you lengthen your spine here? As you breathe out, high plank position. How much can you stabilize your body? From your high plank, soften to your knees, bend your elbows, lower your chest with integrity. So take your time. I know lots of yogis just rush and get this over and done with, but let's feel every micelle of this process. Press down through the backs of your feet, press down through your pubic bone and begin to peel your spine up. Lift yourself up to cobra pose or even king cobra. Breathe in. As you breathe out, downward facing dog. Stay with your breath. Use it to lengthen your spine. Breathe in. Tailbone lifts up and back. Exhale as you land into this practice. Land into this space. This sacred space. So do that again. Inhale, driving the hips back. Exhale to fully be in this moment. One more. Big breath in through the nose. Deep breath out from the mouth. 
Okay, let's work through that Surya Namaskar A with the breath. Look forward, breathe in. Step the right foot forward and then your left foot forward as you breathe out and fold. Halfway lift, inhalation. Cascade, exhalation. Press down to lift yourself up as you salute the sun. Big breath in. Come back down to the ground and breathe out. Salute Mother Earth. Halfway lift is your inhalation. Utilize this stretch. It should feel nice for the spine. Exhale to a high plank as you really get your entire body involved, finding that full engagement. Inhale. Exhale as you soften to the knees or take this transition high plank to low plank. Open up your chest to a back bend that feels sustainable and breathe into it. Downward facing dog, we breathe out. Inhale for one. Exhale. Put emphasis on making that breath even deeper. Breathe into. Exhale. Breathe in three. Exhale. All right, one more round. Step your left foot forward and then your right foot forward. Halfway. Fold. Stay on your breath. Lift yourself up. Come all the way back down. Halfway lift. High plank position, left foot and then the right foot goes back. Lower through your vinyasa, go on your own journey. I'll meet you through in downward facing dog. And then once you get to down dog, soften to your knees. Let's take child's pose position. It's always our home base for the practice. So if at any point things feel a little bit rough, gets too intense, too much, you can always drop to the knees and rest in sweet, sweet, sweet child's pose. Now take a sweet breath in. Cleansing breath out. All right, my loves. Let's begin to move on. So we'll transition back to downward facing dog. Then once you get there, you're going to give yourself a roll forward to a high plank. Now listen, we've got a transition from tripsichore, which I just love. Your left heels are going to drop, your left heels, your only heels are going to drop to the left. So point your toes to the right, bend your knees and then start to push your bum back towards your heels. Drag your right hand back with you. Okay, so we're in this variation of a side plank and a side squat. So sit your hips low, stretch out the left side of your body, stay anchored through your left hand. As you inhale, you're going to catapult yourself forward to a side plank position. Now I want you to really stomp down through the left foot. So what naturally arises is the right knee can bend, right toe towards your left knee. Keep your right arm lifted. Glue yourself up, so press down to open up. Beautiful. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to step the right foot all the way to the top of the yoga mat. In three. No cheating. I'm watching. Two. On one, the foot lands. Immediately spin all ten toes to the long side of your yoga mat. And then let's recalibrate here in a forward fold. So just hang the chest. Drop your skull. Turn your tootsie slightly in, so you pigeon toe the feet. And then just feel all of that blood change direction. So take in an inversion now. Changing our perspective. In the words of Wayne Dyer, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Now let's begin to change our rhythm here. We'll play spinal rolls. You're going to walk your fingertips further forward. Bring the weight forward into the ball of the feet. And I want you to pulsate your spine all the way forward. Ripple yourself almost into a halfway lift position. Then as you breathe out, bend into your knees and fold into all of that space that you've created. Let's do that again two more times. So inhale, roll, undulate, articulate the body forward. 
Exhale, bend into the knees and hang. One more. Breath in, guide you. The breath out releases you. Amazing. Now from here, we're gonna turn all 10 toes out. You're gonna bend into the knees so you can power down to lift yourself all the way up into a star. So straighten out your legs eventually, straighten out your arms and reach up. Light your body open, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, bend into your knees, cactus your arms open, goddess pose. So sit your bum low here. Let's get everything working. Inhale, lift up, raise up, expand. Exhale to goddess. Three more, let the breath move you. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, we bend. Inhale, expand. Exhale, ignite. One more, inhale, fully lifting. Exhale, completely and lower. All right, all the way back to start as a transition, breathe in. As you breathe out, fold yourself forward and notice how I turn my toes into fold. This just helps with balance and stability. Once the hands come to the ground, walk your hands to the back of the yoga mat. Bend your left knee as you turn all 10 toes to the back and then sweep your left arm forward and up. Let's take a juicy, easy twist. Now I'm gonna continue that movement of the left hand so keep it reaching all the way back. Like you're reaching through a dirty dishcloth, enjoying the twist, enjoying the rinse and the release. Then let's start to pulsate from here as we really feel that sense of releasing. So inhale, lift the arm up. Exhale, reach the arm back behind you. Three more in your own time. Clearing, shifting, opening, expanding. One more round, and then I'll see you in a high plank position facing the back of the yoga mat. If that makes you uncomfortable that we're now facing the back, I'm not sorry, <laughs> lower yourself down. Listen to the cues, open up your chest, breathe in, cobra pose or up dog. I know you know this well now. Exhale to a downward facing dog. You can drop to the knees and enter child's pose if you need it. If not, stay in this inverted V shape and reconnect to your breath. Breathe in for one. Breathe out. The ask is that you really zone in your attention to your breath, hone in on it. So inhale full capacity of your lungs. Exhale to release. One more, breathe in through the nose. Breathe out from your mouth. All right, my loves, left side we go. Roll yourself forward to a high plank. Stabilize and engage your entire being. Now turn your heels to the right. So just drop them. So by default, the toes point to the left. Bend into your knees and slide your bum back towards your heels. Drag the left hand back with you. So again, this is a transition from tripsichore, which is yoga and dance mixed together, which means it requires this sense of strength and fluidity. So enjoy it. Breathe in. As you breathe out, begin to power yourself all the way into your side plank. Straighten out your right leg, press down through the entire sole of your right foot. So by, by consequence, that left knee will be able to lift up. Bring the left toe to your right knee. Keep your left arm lifted, variation of tree pose. Breathe in and lift high. As you breathe out, we're gonna step the left foot all the way to the top of the yoga mat. In three, you can always use your left hand to guide you. Last two, on one, drop the foot. Turn all 10 toes to the long side of the yoga mat and let's meet in that nourishing fold. Whew, give the hands a little bit of a rotate. We was there for some time on that right wrist. Okay, now let's begin to move and manipulate the energy up and down the spinal columns. 
I love this bit. You're going to walk your hands forward, tent up onto your fingertips, bring the weight forward and pulsate your chest. Inhale to so this variation of a halfway lift. As you exhale, bend into your knees and fold into all of that space, that infinite space. That is you. Three more, inhaling, rolling. Exhale, landing. Keep moving with the breath, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, send that breath through your spine. So good, everyone. Now spin the toes out. Bend into your knees to support you to roll yourself all the way up. Feel the process. Embody the process. Lift your arms up. Star position. Ignite your own self. Light yourself up. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bend the knees. Sit the bum down low. Cactus your arms out here. How low can you go? <laughs> So it's fine. Can you go down low? <laughs> now keep the feet anchored. Let's move with the breath. Inhale, lift up and breathe in. As you breathe out, bend the knees and lower. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, beginning to move. Lift yourself back up on your next inhalation. Puff up your chest. As you exhale, now we fold forward. Bring the hands all the way to the earth. Walk the hands to the front of the yoga mat. Sweep your right arm up as the right toes turn to the front. And then keep following that rotation so the right arm reaches back behind you now. Let's pulsate. Breathe in, arm lifts up. Exhale, reach it back behind you. Keep moving with your breath and just make this your own, my loves. Get your eyes, your head out of the screen and tap into your own body, your own rhythm. Feeling that sense of freedom for this practice. After your third round, we will meet in a high plank position. Once you get to your high plank, you know the drill. You lower down through your vinyasa, your chaturanga. The front body opens as you breathe in. The back body lengthens as you breathe out. Soften to your knees. Child's pose position. Hips to heels, arms in full extension. Forehead to the ground in recognition in recognition of all that you feel right now. Know that it is intentional. So we take a moment to work through the systems. And then we take a moment to pause, to reflect. So just take an inventory of how you feel, allowing these practices to be your own interpretation, your own stories. Now bring your focus back to your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, my loves, we will flow breath to movement through that entire sequence. So when you're ready, downward facing dog. From your down dog, you're going to roll yourself forward into a high plank as you breathe in. As you breathe out, turn the toes to the right, bend the knees, push the hips back, drag your right hand back with you. Inhale to your side plank, make this your own. As you breathe out, start to bring the right toe towards the left knee and then step it all the way forward. Bring it next to your left wrist. Once the foot lands, turn all 10 toes to the long side of your mat. Let's just take one roll here. Spinal roll, breathe in. As you breathe out, land and hang. Now turn the toes out, roll your body all the way up into a star. Raise them with this new vibration, this frequency. Lift yourself up, inhale. Exhale to goddess pose. Just one, we lift ourselves back up. 
Turn the toes in and fold over the legs, breathe out. Walk your hands all the way to the back of the yoga mat. Left hand floats forward and up, breathe in. Reach it back behind you, breathe out. Lift up on the inhalation. High plank on your exhalation and lower down, lower through with the exhale. Lift up your lovely chest, your heart space, open, breathe in. Down dog, you breathe out. Take a big breath in together. Add a flubber of your lips and exhale. Okay, do that again, inhale. With more emphasis, exhale. <laughs> Good. One more round and you can take whatever breath you wish for. So breathe in. Breathe out. All right, my loves, final round. And then we will shift this practice down a few gears. So enjoy. Shuffle yourself forward into a high plank. Turn the toes to the left. Heel to the right. Bend your knees, push the booty back, drag the left hand back with you. How slow can you make this transition? Straight into your side plank as you breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the left toe towards your right knee, tree pose. And then step the left foot all the way to the top of the yoga mat in line with your right hand. Turn all 10 toes to the long side of your mat. Walk your hands forward, go in a little roll, breathe in. Land into yourself, breathe out. Spin the toes out, bend your knees, lift yourself up, big breath in. To goddess pose, you breathe out. Let the breath guide you. Inhale, lifting. Exhale to fold. Walk the hands all the way back forward. Right arm floats up, breathe in. Reach it back behind you, breathe out. Lift up on the inhalation. High plank on your last exhalation. Your last vinyasa, your last chaturanga. And I want you to take it like you is never, ever, ever going to do it again. So how much would you enjoy this process? Take your time. And I'll meet you on through in a child pose position. Bring your forehead to the ground. Take a moment to stabilize. To feel the effects of the flow. Noticing how all of those movements how all of those poses, how all of that breath, notice how it helps unlock a more expanded version of you. Now from that deepest place of in you, take a full breath in and then a full breath out. And then slowly does it. Let's have you lift up your chest. Push your bum to one side, swing your legs forward. And then we're gonna slowly unravel onto the back. Bend into your knees and then let's have you bring your right ankle to your left knee. Figure four position, also known as reclined pigeon. Your left knee will come in towards your chest. Just one last moment to, to open but in much more of a restorative way. So make this passive rather than active. Let the shape do the work for you. All right, my loves. Release the sole of the right foot down to the ground and just simply swap sides. That left ankle will join the right knee as your right knee floats into the chest. The hands can bind around your right thigh. Just beginning to transition from the doing part to the being part. 
So just being much more soft, much more gentle, much more still. And then with a slow, steady pace, let's have you extend your legs all the way long. Relax your arms by your sides. And lie your body down like you're gonna lie yourself into a nest, into a cozy little cocoon, a hammock. So just let your body do just that. Let the body go. Let the mind relax. Let the breath soften. Now from this soft space, from this relaxed place, let's have you start to move with those textures, those tones. So wake your body back up with tenderness, with ease. Guide the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little bit of encouragement up to a seat. Lift yourself up. Bring your hands to your heart space in recognition of you. Bow the chin in. Bow the chest forward. And seal this practice in with namaste. Thank you guys so much. I hope this practice served you well. I will see you all tomorrow. And in the meantime, please make sure you continue to tag us in your posts. We love to see this community build. So please keep building it and take care of yourself.